Today, my friend Daryl is taking me for a ride in his Nissan Leaf. Daryl, good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for taking time to take me for a spin in your leaf. And uh, so tell me, how, how long have you had the car? About seven weeks. And uh, so far, you like it? I love it. It's uh, smooth, it's quiet, it's got all the power I need. I have not had to go to a gas station because this is an all electric car. It doesn't have a gas receptacle or a tailpipe or any kind of gas engine. That's right. It seems kind of silly that we're here talking about this car when we could be on the road. So let's, let's, let's go for a spin. The car drives like any other car. It has more torque because there's no transmission. The power is instantaneous. I hit the accelerator, you feel it move. Yeah. And it's extremely quiet. Now, we're getting on the highway where I'm going to shift it out of the eco mode and into the regular drive mode just to make sure I've got enough power because on 285, well, it's no place for the timid. So I'm coming Boom, and you felt that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was a definite bump. This car has no problem with pickup and no problem reaching whatever speed I need it to reach. Let me show you something. It gives you this little indicator of how economically you're driving. And the better you do, you build these little trees. So I've, I've built one tree. Because there are not charging stations all over, I have to plan out my driving to make sure I've got enough charge to do the trip I need to take. That is the big difference between driving a LEAF and driving a gasoline-powered car. Ultimately, the answer to the electric car question comes down to range. If your daily average driving fits with the life of the battery, then that makes the answer pretty simple, given that electricity is so much cheaper than gas. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the average American drives less than 33 miles per day, putting us well within the Leaf's EPA-rated range of 84 miles on a full charge. I found several comments on the Nissan website by owners that said their daily driving averaged 35 to 50 miles. Daryl concedes that the Leaf is not for everyone, but he offered this closing thought. Look into whether it's right for you. And if it is, and you're in the market for a new car, then it's a car you really ought to consider. Well, thanks for taking the time today. Well, thank you for coming out because uh, I'm all about getting the word out on the Leaf. Checking out the Nissan Leaf. That's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Stay connected by becoming a fan of our Facebook page and spread the green by sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.